Finally guys, it's the time. The Unreal Engine Injector from Predog is here and that means we can play all Unreal Engine games in virtual reality. That's insane and in a pretty good way. So I will show you how to use it and an example. That's nice. My name is Thomas and you're watching Voodoo EVR. Thank you to my sponsors Woodcos VR, Open Monuments and Virtual Escape. Let's have some fun with the video and let's go. Okay guys, and now let's see how that works. So I have the Quest 3 here. I'm not at home, I, I don't have a good router here, so I will use a link cable, but you can of course also use AirLink wireless, that's no problem. So this is the page here from uh, Unreal Engine VR. Um, there's some steps here that you can follow, uh, start Unreal Engine VR, uh, um, execute and stuff. Uh, here's some to do's before injecting, disable HDR, run as administrator and so on and so on. But to be honest, I did nothing of that. I just started the, the execute and everything works. So if you have problems, try some of that. For example, disable HDR, disable uh, um, active uh, sync uh, and, and, and so on. Yeah. The, all that stuff. Disable some graphic uh, options in game that like camera shake and so on and so on. So what you're gonna do is uh, download the um, Unreal Engine injector. The link will be in the description as soon as it's out. Then it will look like this here. Let me uh, show it to you here, this here. Then you will start the Unreal VR execute. If you can't do it as administrator, start as administrator and then it will look like this here. You see that? And that's everything. And now you just open your game. So with the Quest 3, I recommend go for OpenXR and do not use Steam VR. Do not use Steam VR. Just what you're gonna do now is open Steam. Um, check out any Unreal Engine game. I will show it later to you. For example, Tropico 6, click on play and then wait for the game um, to load. I will just click on start without account and stuff. And uh, I'm not in VR right now. It's just everything is on uh, keyboard. So I go on continue. And later when you are inside the game, then I will show you what you're gonna do. But this is still on my monitor, on my laptop monitor, what you're gonna see now. I, will, I still control it via mouse. And yeah, you just have to wait a little bit here for the loading time. Tropico um, needs a little time to load. And as soon as we are in the game, the magic <laughs> happens, I would say. Um, so yeah, come on, come on, here we are. So this is the game, nothing special. This is just the game without any VR stuff. So what you're gonna do now, go inside the Unreal Engine injector, here we go, and then click on this small arrow here and here the game should be inside the list. Tropico 6. Here. And here you can set up a lot of stuff like user interface distance and all the stuff. What you're gonna do, what you're gonna need. Yeah, depth scale and so on and so on. But I, to be honest, I normally I don't change anything here yeah, uh, when there is no problem. But you can also do this in game. I will show it in another example then. So what you're gonna do is just click inject and then wait. Wait, it, it, sometimes it can, yeah, uh, you need uh, an, a minute or so. It depends on game, but now it's even easier. And look at this now. We are in VR in Tropico 6, a game that doesn't support VR. And we have full room tracking. How cool is that, guys? How cool is that? And now you can um, click the insert button and then you have a menu here you can uh, do some different stuff. I will show it to you later also in another example. Yeah, and that's it. That's what you're gonna do. Nothing else. How cool is that? Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, I will show you some examples now. Okay, guys, and here I am. So uh, I have to tell you, I'm not at home, so I cannot use my high-end PC. This is a laptop with a RTX 3070. So of course I had to reduce the resolution. Uh, we play Robocop. Look at this here. Look at this. So I had my controllers here and as you can see I have tracked weapon. Uh, I can shoot here. Even the user interface is bound uh, on the 
hand so I can watch everything perfectly. Look at this and I can walk with the thumbsticks. I, I can turn. No. You need a strong PC for that. Let's be honest. It's not possible, not really possible on a laptop, but as you can see, it you can play it. You can play it, but you have to reduce the resolution. So uh, what what I what I can show you is if you hit the insert button, you will see this menu here. And here you can change a lot of things. Yeah. For example, here VR. Yeah. You can you can set uh, the resolution scale here. So I put it on 50%. Otherwise, it's still even uh, more frame drops. Yeah. So you need a very strong PC for Robocop. But look at you can you can change like everything here. That's absolutely insane. Here the the next one. Uh, if if any game runs bad or has problems, uh, change the different method here. Go to synchronized sequential or something like that uh, and so on yeah that's really absolutely awesome uh, here, here you can also uh, enable and disable some stuff it's something if something in some unreal game doesn't work try to play around with these settings here look at this input you can set all the input um, the values here are from the profile that I loaded so you can even activate snap turn in the game that doesn't even support VR. How cool is that? Here you can recenter the view. See that? That's really cool. Here you can play around with uh, different camera angles. Here camera offset. Well, and here it's, it gets even more detailed. Yeah, this this is something I <laughs> I'm not sure if I want to play around with that. That's very uh, detailed and very technical, uh, but. Um, yeah, then you hit the insert button again, and here you here are back in the game. So how cool is that? Oh, there, there is. Don't mess with Robocop. He's behind that wall, right? So, how cool is that? Yeah. All personnel, evacuate. I mean, of course, um, this is uh, looks pretty ugly now because of the slow uh, laptop here. But if you have, uh, if you want to play these new kind of games like Robocop, then definitely um, you need a very strong PC. That's for sure. Yeah, but it works, and everything is in 3D, and everything is. Absolutely insane. I can't even believe that this is possible. Yeah, but uh, let's jump into another game. Okay, guys, and now a totally different game, Tropico 6. And look at this. I, I have the controllers here, and I can even turn around the view. I can zoom in, zoom out, yeah, and I can open the build menu, like, for example, uh, build a street here and with the, with the VR controllers. Look at this. Suck, suck, suck. Go back. Yeah, and here we go. Irgendetwas stimmt hier nicht, ah, sorry, everything is in Germany. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you can zoom in. And here, everything is in 3D. Look at this. Even the, the palm here, the cows, the houses here. And even here, of course, you can enter the menu of... Uh, Unreal Engine Injector and you can um, play around a little bit if something is wrong. For me it just worked out of the box. I didn't do anything. I didn't even load a profile. I just ran the game and I clicked on inject. What on earth? Even even the, the snow is in, in 3D. How cool is that? You can even go here yeah, look at this. I zoomed out. So you can even play those kind of games in VR. I mean, of course, not everybody wants to play that uh, with a with VR controllers, but you can also use a gamepad or mouse or so, whatever you like. But it looks really awesome. Wow, Tropico Six in VR, <laughs> insane. So yeah, let's check another game.
Okay, guys, and here we are in Atomic Heart, as you can see, even with my laptop. <laughs> so uh, the thing here is uh, when I opened that game without changing anything, I had some problems with the graphics. The clouds were strange in the middle of my view and so on. So, and also the controls are strange, no tracked weapons. So we have to change something here. Push the insert button and here, here you go. You will, uh, here you can change the resolution scale uh, to reduce um, frame drops and so on. But what you're gonna do in this game is go to um, um, rendering method and go from native stereo to synchronized sequential. When I change to that, everything works. Yeah? And also for the track weapons, go to input and change here type from game to, for example, right controller. Then you uh, close the menu and look at this. Now I have the tracked weapon. I can walk around. Everything is in 3D. I, I even have six degrees of freedom. I can move around er and so on. That is so insane. Here we, here we go. Uh, I think yeah. the, the right button, they mean the right grip button. Here you go. Yeah, and as you can see, bam! You can shoot here. You can aim whatever you want. And you have to notice that I play that on a laptop. On a laptop. On a, um, And also I'm recording at the same time. And it still runs pretty good. Now, if you have a high-end machine, it will even look much better and even smoother. But as you can see, it's also possible on um, lower PCs and laptops. Wow, how cool is that? Uh, everything is in 3D, full room scale. Wow, that's, that's very, very impressive. What can we check now? Okay guys, satisfactory. Check out this, for all uh, fans of mouse and keyboard, I can play this game not all with the not only with the VR controls, but also with mouse and keyboard. Look at this. That also works for people that don't want to use the VR controllers or gamepad. You can switch to game input method, and then you can just use your mouse. And yeah, as you can see here, you can do whatever you want, and then it works. And guys, I can tell you this has six degrees of freedom. I can stand. Look at this. You see that it has six degrees of freedom satisfactory and it runs on a laptop and it, the, the graphics are set pretty high now and it runs pretty good i would say for such a gaming laptop wow but also of course in the menu uh, here in the insert menu you can also go for um, a method uh, for example the the controller or something that you uh, want uh, right controller or so on and then uh, yeah you, you see uh, wait uh, I, I can use the VR controllers to to aim here. That uh, also works then. Just play around what, whatever you want to use. And Satisfactory is another game that runs absolutely nice with the Unreal Engine injector. Okay guys, Hogwarts Legacy. Yeah, Unreal Engine. Yeah, and yeah, injected I would say. <laughs> Look at this. I have the uh, VR controllers and I can push the trigger button to, uh, um, yeah fire our stuff here and of course as always everything is in full room scale look look at the tree when i move yeah it's uh it's full six degrees of freedom and um absolutely awesome absolutely awesome and um the only thing in this game i will show it to you you have to to go here for um synchronized um, sequential uh, change from native stereo to synchronized change because uh, otherwise it will uh, cause some problems with um, white screen yeah but this is absolutely awesome and uh, i mean where, where is the look at look at this if you are a harry potter fan this this will be a dream for you i can tell you i, I already showed that on warp x but you cannot compare it because this is real six degrees of freedom. Everything is absolutely insane. Look at the, the, the castle here, Hogwarts. Look look at the flowers here. Everything is, it, it, it looks like it's made for VR now. 
And if you don't like the user interface, you can uh, you can just um, put it uh, somewhere else, uh, uh, make it bigger, smaller, or attach it to the controller, whatever. You can also play it with mouse and keyboard if you like, if with controller, uh, and that's it. So yeah, that was the last game I wanted to show you, but there are other over 11,000 games. It's insane. So let's come to a conclusion. Okay, guys, and what do you say now? Isn't that really insane? So with just a tool that is, let me, let me check it for you. It, I think it's only 24 megabytes. With a tool that is 24 megabytes, we now have 11,000 potential VR games more. I, 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 I don't even realize it yet, but it's, it's insane. So this is the official page here. Um, this is the list of supported headsets, but it's not really um, <clears throat> a good list because it doesn't make sense. Y you've seen I just played it on Quest 3 and Quest 3 is not even in the list here. So that definitely doesn't make sense. So you can play it with all VR headsets besides the PlayStation VR 1 and 2 because they don't support PC. All other headsets works. Yeah, that's cool. So um, there is actually a list with um, Unreal Engine games. I will put everything that I have in the description below. The mod, of course, and all the other stuff. But look at this here. Look at this here, Hogwarts Legacy. Days Gone, Jedi Fallen Order, Jedi Survivor, Borderlands 3, uh, Grounded, uh, Gollum, Atomic Heart. Yeah, Look at all this stuff. Look at all this stuff. It is insane. We can play all these games in virtual reality now. Over, uh, This is not the full list. Yeah? The full list you can find, for example, on Steam uh, database. Uh, um, it, it's... I will put everything in the description. Oh, I, I think it, the link is even on in this page. Here. Yeah, yeah, here. Here you find it. And on this link, you will see all the uh, Unreal Engine games. And these are over 11,000 games. And most of them work even without doing anything. Just run the injector, click on inject, and then it works. Sometimes, uh, as, as you've seen it with Atomic Heart, you have to uh, change the uh, rendering method, uh, or, or the weapon tracking, but that's it. It's just a thing of some seconds. Yeah, it's it's absolutely fine and not not very hard. So this this potential is insane now, guys. We have over eleven thousand more VR games now, and we we have to be thankful to Praydog for this one definitely. So make sure to check out the donation here for him. Donate him some. Uh, Bucks, he, he definitely deserves it uh, for this awesome work. Yeah, for me, he's the new VR god, <laughs> to be honest. Yeah, wow. Yeah, okay, guys. And what I also want to tell you you can not only use Steam games, you can also use the games from Xbox Game Pass, GOG, Itch.io, or um, Epic Game Store. That also works not only Steam because it's independent from Steam VR. When you, uh, like me, uh, use uh, the OpenXR method, then uh, it's not a problem. Yeah, you, I just started the Oculus software and then um, just start the game and then inject it and then it works. Yeah, that's it. Really, really cool. Crazy. So guys, if you still don't have a VR headset yet, you can also you cannot only support Predog, also me by um, going via the link in the description below for a Quest 2 or Quest 3 headset. I recommend a standalone headset. It's cheap and uh, it works pretty good. For me, the best one is a Quest 3 for this uh, because it's possible to do it wireless. I didn't do it because I told you uh, I don't have a good router here. You can play it with a cable or wireless. So that's why I recommend the Quest 3 for the Unreal Engine injector. The link is in the description below. So in the future, I'm pretty sure there will be some more Unreal Engine games that I will show you. Perhaps you can give me some um, hints what I can show. Cool Unreal Engine games. Also the future Unreal, Unreal Engine games will be supported. Everything from Unreal Engine 4 and higher is supported by the injector. 
This is insane. I can't even believe it. Wow. <laughs> so guys, I hope you like it. Give me a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe, hit the bell and see you next time in virtual reality. See ya. Voodoo.de